I've got the roster right here. Did you fill them both out? There's two? Huh? Yeah, you got to do a Kelsey one, too. Oh, oh. is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Which one is that? That's, your, that's the MKA? Yeah, you got to do two. Oh. And then I need three forms of ID, and then we're going to need a urine sample. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got to make sure... No, we need a urine sample. We got to make sure nobody's doing oh, steroids. I'm right. one of those out of the box. <laughs> Everybody's doing it in performance <laughs> enhancement drugs. All right, Mr. Jim Thank Williams, you, we got a special... Treat today. We do. Everyone's getting one of these super cool qualifiers. What? what? There you go, buddy. Right. Pretty cool, huh? I like that. Yeah. Nice. I was happy when I saw those. Cool. Get your boats ready, and then we're going to have a meeting before you guys go out. Um, so we're going to weigh in at 1 o'clock. Three fish limit, same as the normal. And there's no off limits. Make sure your identifier's in there, and please make sure the mouth is closed. That has been a problem all season, people having the mouth closed. You can put a hand on the fish, and you can slide it and take a picture while your hand's on the fish. Don't cover up the gill plate. Don't smash them. Don't manipulate them. But just make sure that uh, that mouth is closed. <laughs> The big boat guys. Uh, we need the whole ramp. <laughs> <laughs> quick, 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 jump in. Are they ready? Uh, nice lock, Tim. Oh, Tim tied me up. <laughs> Come on, Jim, use your pedal drive. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Go slay him, Damien. Hey, guys, thank you for tuning in to Moving Outdoors. We are out here at Kelsey Bass Ranch, and today is an exciting day. And can you tell us why? Yeah, today is the day of the 2019 MKA Classic, the top 15 qualifiers from the three. Uh, MK Motherload Series qualifier events made it out here today uh, to fish for some really nice prizes, oh, including this boat. This right here. And this life jacket and a Werner paddle. And this boat is fully equipped with a depth finder. It's uh, a, a Elite 5 Ti with total scan transducer. It'll have an Ego easy slider net. It will be a fully rigged, ready to go, uh, top of the line fishing kayak package all right that's going to the winner and then we have a bunch of other cool prizes um, doing a full tri-tip barbecue it's gonna be a pretty incredible day cool awesome uh, we just got on the water so we can just go around uh, talk to the anglers maybe uh, take some pictures I'll tell you what I'm most excited about what? today though what is that my new hat <laughs> check it out <laughs> Mumu outdoors I'm the first one to get one of these hats I got it even before Mumu has one Sorry to break it to you, not the first one. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what, what? I thought this was the first shipment. No, this is the second shipment. The first batch already went out. <laughs> what? I, was I didn't even you. get. I didn't even get the first batch. <laughs> All right, I take it back. This was the least special thing about what happened today. Maybe I can go around and scoop up some goose poop off the top of the pond with this or something. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Let's go around, take some pictures, All right, man. talk to the anglers. I'm used to being second string, Moo Moo. It's been the story of my life. Oh, uh, you're too funny. All right, so what is your prediction today? I don't know. Last year was 63 inches. Uh, That's I think pretty it was, good. Was it, I think it was maybe a little bit hotter last year, wasn't it? But um, it was 63 inches last year, Jacob Traba. Uh, he tied up with Obedi Williams. Obedi was throwing frogs and punching. And then Jacob was doing something different. He was throwing a uh, Kitek on the outside edge of the weed line outside the lily pads. And uh, Jacob came in, I think he had a 22.25 big fish and Obadi had a 22. So okay. he, ended up, uh, he ended up taking it home. And uh, 63 inches, um, I mean, anything over 60 is a good limit. But yeah, it's a really good limit. Yeah, I don't know, what are you predicting? Uh, since it was a 63 last year, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go a little bit higher, 63.5. Oh geez, a little bit higher. So, a little bit higher. Higher. so you know, um, I think I'll go 64 then. Come on! <laughs> Jim! Hello, sir. How you doing? I'm going to go outdoors. I got two little ones. Two little ones. Better than none. 
What did you get it on? A uh, whopper plopper. Whopper plopper? No whopper plopper. First thing in the morning. Throwing them frogs, Luke? Came oh. off! No, I saw that. <laughs> oh, <no>. I did. <laughs> Dang, that was a good fish too. Yeah. Is that you, Josh? Yeah, what's up? How you doing? Good. Okay, so far with you. Good. So how's the bite? Yeah, it's got like five or six so far. Still trying to figure it out. Um, the one thing uh, that's going to be a little bit different today is with all these weeds and. Definitely trying to change up your presentation to make sure you find that right technique that's going to work with the fish today. So. I know this guy. Good, how are you? Are you slaying them yet? Nice. Nothing big? There you go. In the net? Yeah. It looked like a pretty good size. Kelsey average. Ooh, nice fish. Good job, Johnny. Top water. Top water, nice. It's fun. Uh-oh, well, somebody's on. Oh yeah, Woo! Woo! Oh, let me get closer. <laughs> what did you get it on? <laughs> Hold it one more time. Oh my. Holy, oh my goodness. It's a nice one. It is nice one. Oh, it's a, it's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, put it on your donkey leash or something. What do you think, Steve? Is that going to be the biggest fish of uh, the day? I think it is. Yeah, it's a big fish. I think she's 24, 25. I saw him try to net it like 10 times. I try to <laughs> keep running. Just, yeah, I keep running. <laughs> oh, they had almost 8 pound line. 23. So today we got 15 anglers battling out and uh, these are the prizes that will be distributed amongst 15 anglers and uh, Steve can you show us which prize goes to who? Oh yeah so hey for the event champion we have got the Hobie Werner Stolquist Lawrence Ego Safe and Easy package um, that is a fully outfitted tournament ready fishing kayak Hobie Outback courtesy of Headwaters Adventure Company. This is an incredible grand prize. They're also going to get one of the super sweet slate plaques from Valley View Design Shop. Uh, for second place we've got slate plaque. In addition they're going to get a day on Kelsey Bass Ranch with four of their buddies. Uh, third place, again, the plaque and a guide trip with Ryan Cook Fishing for themselves and a friend to go to any um, body of water that they want to in the area. We're also going to be awarding the Angler of the Year today, uh, Kong Yang. He's, also, he's getting the Angler of the Year plaque and then he's also getting a custom jersey with all the logos of all of our sponsors for the circuit for the year. Uh, and then we got some cool prizes for 4th, 5th, 6th, all the way down. We have a really nice Ego package with the new Ego slider uh, net. If you guys haven't seen this thing, this is the perfect net for kayak fishing. It's so easy to operate. You just push the button, boom, it slides right out. And it slides into multiple positions. And then you push the button, it collapses right back down, drops right in your holder, 
and you're ready to go. Um, we've got a really nice prize package for fourth place with a bunch of Ego accessories including the Easy Slider Net, the uh, Fish Ruler, a really nice hat, and then as well as some pliers. Um, we've got a bunch of uh, braid from Finn's Braid including Wind Tabor 40G. Uh, we just got some really nice prizes. We've got some custom t-shirts, some custom jerseys. Uh, also, when these guys come off the water, they're going to have a tri-tip barbecue. Uh, we just try to blow up this event and just make it really special for all these anglers who uh, battled it out all season to make the TOC. Awesome. Thank you, Steve. You got it. Thank you, Moo for all your help this season. You coming in? Yep. Somebody's very confident. Rough day? <laughs> you call it a rough day? Fighting those big fish, it was pretty rough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was your third? My third one? Uh-huh. 20 and a half. Did you hear that, Steve? So, did you get some frog fish? <laughs> no? I thought you were going to get some. You had a nice blow up earlier nah, in the morning. That was, that was a pretty nice fish. Yeah. That How do you feel? Good. Good. I don't think it's gonna be enough. What's up, Mumu? What happened to know. your rudder? The rudder broke. Oh, uh, the cable? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, other than that, how'd you do? Uh, I got a 2018 and 19. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, Sean. Small limit. Small limit. There's no such thing as small limit here. How you doing? Pretty good. How'd you do? Not too good. What's the smallest? Uh, 16 and 3 quarter. Huh? 16 and 3 quarter. It was fun. A lot of, a lot of fish on the horny toad. That's always fun. Oh yeah. Blow -ups. How'd you do, Bob? I was alright. Okay. Yeah. What's your smallest fish? I think 18.5. 18.5. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How'd you do? There's no such thing as small limit here. <laughs> What's your smallest? 18. 18. Eh? That's pretty good. What's uh? What's your smallest? Oh uh, man, I mean everyone else's smallest is bigger than my smallest. Uh, 15 three quarters. 15 three quarters. Is that Richard? Yep. All right. How'd you do? Uh, eh. Eh? <laughs> no 17 pounder? No. Or 16 12s? <laughs> 16 13s? Jim, did you get a 1613? I wish. <laughs> Damien, big fish towel. 16 pounds and 13 ounces? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> What's your small, small, smallest fish? Uh, I think it's 18 inch. 18? Okay, show me your five fish. Just kidding. It's three fish. <laughs> show me your five fish. Oh, sweet! <laughs> Good thing I kept all those pictures. Oh, hey, that bottom tail helped you though. <laughs> I was worried when I pulled out of the water, I was like, wait, it's missing half its body. Sorry about that. The last, the last one, it's on the corner. Yeah. We're going to do tri tip sandwiches, chips, drinks. Eight and a half. Damien. Oh, here we go here. Come on, Damien. Let's see what you got, buddy. We didn't get them today. All right. Can't get them every day, Damien. <laughs> We just really want to thank you guys for um, coming out and supporting. We had a blast this year, and I hope you guys had a good time as well. Um, we'll be back next year. We'll be back even stronger. We've got some ideas, and uh, just to keep just to keep tuning things up a little bit. So, uh, first and foremost, want to thank all of our sponsors. Valley View Design Shop took care of all the plaques, did all the hats. Mickey Brunelli, he's a firefighter. He couldn't be here today. Mumu Outdoors, he's been critical in helping with these tournaments, doing the videos, and just being my right-hand man in all the tournaments, helping out. Couldn't have done it without him. Trapper Tackle on board and Vince Hurtado. Finn's Fishing with Andy Vieira gave us a lot of nice line this year to give out. We're going to give out some of that today. Kelsey Bass Ranch, John Kelsey, the owner of Kelsey Bass Ranch, has been very gracious in letting us come here today and use his facility. His incredible facility, right? This is one of a kind, man. These don't exist. 
Ryan Cook Fishing. Ryan's been a big supporter of the circuit this year, giving you guys a lot of information. He was supposed to be here this afternoon, but he had some boat issues, and he's got a guide trip tomorrow, so he had to go take care of it. Fatty's Worms, Nevada Bretts, uh, Procure Bait Sense. We gave away a ton of Procure this year. Uh, Calco's Fishing, they've got some really cool stuff, if you guys haven't seen it already, with the donkey leash and the bait sacks and the mule, the rod mule, like a bunch of good stuff. Our headline sponsors, Headwaters Adventure Company out of uh, Redding, California, put up this Mirage Outback kayak. And then we also had Warner Paddles, who's giving a custom carbon fiber paddle that's going to go with the kayak in addition to the Hobie paddle that you're going to get with this kayak. Um, and then Stole Twist Life Jackets gave us a uh, Fisherman. And this is the one that I'm using. This is the one that Moomoo's using. It is incredibly comfortable. And uh, so you'll get... This is the one, this is like the sample one that goes with the kayak, but you'll get to go to Headwaters and get one that's fit just right for you. Um, so yeah, this thing is ready to go, fully outfitted. Um, so yeah, let's find out. Let's find out how this went down. So, Smallest Limit Award. Smallest Limit Award. We always like to do a Smallest Limit Award. So, um, Smallest Limit, 47, 75. Tell you what, 47.75 is like a big limit on the <laughs> reservoirs. Huh? That's not a small limit. And uh, 47.75, uh, that's going to be Richard George. Come on up, Richard George. You're going to get some yeah. Fins 40G. And for, uh, for winning the smallest limit award, you're going to be my guest out here at Kelsey Bass Ranch. You and I are going to fish. All right. Here we go, top three, top three. Third place, you are getting one of these super sweet slate plaques. You're also getting a guide trip with Ryan Cook Fishing. You could, for you and a guest, wherever you want to go, including you can come here, you can go up to one of the Mother Load Lakes. With 58.75 and a 21.5 big fish, that is going to be Mr. Jim Williams. Woo! Yeah. Clap. Oh. Over your box with your stuff in it. Sweet. There's your guide trip uh, certificate, and um, I'll get you your box here in a little bit. Okay. Congratulations. Awesome, man. Stick around for pictures. Yep. Don't. Second place, we have got broke 60, barely broke 60, 60.25, 21.5 big fish. For second place, courtesy of John Kelsey, you are getting a day at Kelsey Bass Ranch with you and your four closest kayak fishing buddies. So you get full use of the facility, full use of the barbecue. So five total, that's the rule, it's got to be kayak anglers. Can't bring any big boat anglers. And so this person gets to, so hey, maybe these, maybe these four of his closest friends are right here in this uh, area. <laughs> <laughs> they will be. Yeah, they will be. <laughs> 60.25, 5 Mr. Johnny Myers. Here you go, sir. So I'm going to donate this trip to Kelsey Bass Ranch, and I'm not quite sure how to do it. We can do a drawing. It's okay, we'll, we'll use his ticket. We can still <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to do that. Okay. Thank you, Johnny. That's my right. Thank you. Right. Angler of the year. Man, this was neck and neck. So Johnny was leading after the first two events. Damien Tao was right in there. And then there was this one guy just kind of hanging out and just being quiet. Nobody knew he was sneaking up on him. And then in that last event, ba-boom, he jumped up, beat everybody by three points. I just recently wrote an article on him, and um, I mean, it couldn't go couldn't go to a better guy. Uh, when, when he was talking about his story and some of the struggles that he's been through this year, and um, that he was able to read a story, it's on a Western Bass that he was able to come through and get the Angler of the Year. That was pretty exciting. So for this, you are getting one of these uh, custom plaques, Angler of the Year plaque, and we also made you a custom jersey with all the logos from the whole season on here in your size. Okay. And this is going to Mr. Kong Yang. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations, Kong. Good job, buddy. Here. Thank you. Three events, 60 anglers per event. We fished full fields. It was a battle. 
uh, to get here in the first place. Top 15, come to the, uh, there were two ways to get here, right? You win an event and fish all three, you're here, or you get in the top 15 and you're here, right? So here we are today, everybody made it, you guys battled it out, but uh, one angler um, was able to figure something out and uh, brought in a pretty impressive limit. Uh, he was able to catch a 23 big fish, bring in 64.5 inches, wow. right? So last year it was one with 63 inches with like a 22.25 big fish, Jacob Traba. This year he bested Jacob Traba's record. Pretty impressive, especially after what he did all season long. It makes it even more impressive. So he is getting 2019 Hobie Outback, fully rigged, depth finder, batteries, everything, life jacket, the whole bit, right? Um, and this is going to go to, can you guys guess? This is going to Mr. Kong Yang. Congratulations, Kong. Thank you. <laughs> All right, man. You got to tell us how you did it. Come on over here. We got to get, we'll get pictures here in a little bit, but you got to tell us how you did it. Well, first thing in the morning, um, pull up, do a swing jay, bluegill color, got a couple of source rigs, and then uh, switch it up, wet it single, that's when I get most of the damage. <laughs> and I stick with that all day. Watermelon color, eight pound line, <laughs> for all my fish. Boy, my mascot. You're the one that jumps in my truck, the team mascot. All right, Jim. Right there by the kayak. Oh, hold on a second. What's going on here? Yeah. That's a big now. Yeah. You need help holding those flags, <laughs> or you, you got it? You think you got it? I got it. Yeah. Nice shirt, too. You got to open them up a little. Yeah, there, there we go. go. There we go. Hold on.